35 inch tires, over the air updates, a seven speed manual transmission. All of these things are coming in the brand spanking new 2021 Ford Bronco. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about these things, don't go anywhere, stay tuned. What is going on, social media family? My name is Jorge Lopez and I am your sales consultant here at Tomball Ford in Tomball, Texas. And today I am joined by a special guest. Her name is Janae. Hello. And she is my daughter. And as you can see, we are not at the dealership today. We are at home, we took a little bit of time off, but I definitely did not wanna waste any time to bring you, bring you some Bronco news. So in this video, we are chatting about reservations, no markup, which is super important, engine and transmission as well. Welcome to our video. So make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any Bronco videos from my dad, and smash that like button. And let's get on to this video. Let's do this. So the first thing that I wanna discuss with you guys is gonna be the reveal. The reveal is gonna be on July 13th of 2020. It got changed actually from July 9th. Um, I don't know who at Ford did not uh, do some research, but July 9th, the original reveal date for the Ford Bronco is OJ Simpson uh, birthday. So I, I cannot imagine what uh, could have happened with media and all that stuff. Um, if the reveal was actually on OJ Simpson's birthday. I mean, that is, that is mind boggling. But anyways, it is coming out at uh, 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, as you know, I'm here in the uh, Houston area in Tomball, Texas, so it's 7 p.m. for us. And it's gonna be revealed on all major platforms of social media. So YouTube, Facebook, all of those things live. But for the first time ever, it's gonna be coming out on, I think, National Geographic, on all of the Disney, uh, Disney channels and primetime networks as well, which is super cool. So this leads you to believe that Ford is actually taking an initiative to make sure that everybody knows that Bronco is coming. So Jeep, beware that Bronco is coming to take your place. So now the types of Broncos, we have basically three types of Broncos. The one that's gonna be the highly anticipated and most sought after is gonna be either the two-door or the four-door. Both of these Broncos are gonna be built on the Ranger chassis. And you might think, man, the Ranger is really not that big of a vehicle, but don't think that the full-size Bronco is gonna be like uh, the OJ Simpson Bronco. No, it's not gonna be that full F-150 size looking uh, Bronco is gonna be a smaller but extremely off-road capable and it's gonna be coming in two doors coming in four doors um, I think that's gonna be the one that people are gonna be gravitating the most I mean the pictures online on this thing is just absolutely phenomenal what do you guys think so far about the upcoming Bronco and then also the one that it's gonna uh, you know be popular but I don't think a lot of people are gonna gravitate to it but I think it's gonna be a good unit for us to have is going to be the Bronco Sport. So the Bronco Sport is going to be based off of the Escape platform. Okay, it's going to be a unibody um, vehicle. And, uh, you know, even though I don't think that we are going to be selling a lot of the Bronco Sports, I think definitely there's going to be a market for that vehicle. And we are we're pretty sure that we'll have good success selling the Bronco Sport. So what do you guys think? Which one would you choose? if it was your turn, to, uh, your, your turn to do a reservation. Now, talking about reservation, guys, um, they're gonna be doing this similar to the Mach-E, okay, where Ford is gonna be doing this live event on July 13th, uh, 2020, and you will have the opportunity to deposit 
$100 uh, with your credit card to reserve a spot for a Ford Bronco. And you know, I am fortunate enough to help all of the Mach-E reservees here at Tomball Ford in Tomball, Texas. And I have been asked to also help out the Bronco reservees or clients that are interested in the Ford Bronco as well. So you will be dealing with me at the dealership. You can also go to my direct website, which is listed on the screen. And you can also go there, go to the message part of the website and you can send me a message and let me know that you're interested in Ford Bronco and I can definitely put you in line for one. The reason why I want you guys to consider going through me at Tomball Ford is because we don't play that game that a lot of dealerships play. And you know that a lot of vehicles that are brand new to the market, dealerships like to take advantage. I mean, how many have you guys, how many of you guys have been in this situation where you go and buy a vehicle, Ford Raptor, for example, especially in 2017 when they were spanking brand new and dealerships wanted, you know, 10, 15, 25K over list price. Have you been there before? You know, I know I've, I've helped a lot of clients, you know, get their Ford Raptors at no markup, no ADM, list price, MSRP. And I will do the same thing with a Ford Bronco. Even if you live out of state, it doesn't matter. We deliver. So if you are interested in a Ford Bronco, don't hesitate and make sure to let us know. Now, let's talk about the engines. So there's gonna be two confirmed engines. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine is gonna be one of them. That's the engine that's gonna be on the Ford Mustangs and we've got it on the Ford Ranger as well. So that's gonna be the, uh, I think the entry level engine to it. And I think the one that people are gonna like is gonna be that 2.7. If you've heard that video that Ford posted um, not too long ago, on the engines, you can definitely tell that there is a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 in that engine. I can also tell you that there is gonna be a Bronco Raptor version um, on this platform as well, and I'm super excited to hear that it is confirmed it's going to be coming but i don't think ford is going to be calling it a bronco raptor um ha, what have you guys heard uh, you that have been online a lot have you heard of any names the name that comes to mind is warthog and warthog and that is a name that i think maybe ford is going to be using on a very off-road capable bronco who knows time will tell but i'm super excited that we're getting a super off-road capable Ford Bronco. Now, another thing that I am super excited about is the transmission. So we will have a 10-speed automatic transmission with which I think might be the upgrade um, on it. So if you don't wanna do any shifting, if you just wanna have a easy transition from point A to point B, B get your automatic transmission right. But for those of you guys that like to take your vehicle seriously off-road or you're pulling a load, you will have the option to have a manual transmission. I cannot remember when was the last time we, I say we Ford, had a manual transmission. If you recall, write it in the comments below. But the really cool thing about this is that there's gonna be a crawl feature on this uh, transmission. As you can see on the screen, there has been some leaked information on the seventh gear, which is a crawl feature. So you'll have six driving gears and you will have a crawl feature gear. So if you're pulling something like, like super heavy, if you, have, if you wanna have the optim, optimal torque, if you're going up a steep grade off-road, you put it in this crawl mo mode and this thing is gonna definitely get you out of trouble. And you know, this is again a direct competition, a direct competition to the Jeep Wrangler because they've got a manual transmission. So Ford is laying everything on the table to make sure that they cover their bases and make sure that everything that they have, Jeep, we have as well, but even better with better technology, better 
suspension, the whole thing is just gonna be absolutely phenomenal. So which engine would you guys choose if, if you were selecting a Ford Bronco? Would you take the manual transmission route or would you take the automatic route? Write your comments below. I'm super curious to know what you guys would choose. Now, let's talk about the sway bar disconnect. The sway bar disconnect, again, is gonna be in direct competition with Jeep Wrangler. And you guys, I'm not a, an off-roader. I don't take my vehicles off-road, but I'm super excited to have this feature because again, it's in direct competition with the Jeep Wrangler. And I wanna know from you guys, how many of you guys that own a Jeep right now, how many of you guys that own a vehicle that you're able to disconnect the sway bar have seen a good success with it. You are glad that you have it. Write in the comments below. I wanna know if this is a feature that is important to you, if you've used it often, if, had, if it had gotten you out of trouble. I really wanna know, but I'm excited because that's something that will allow our customers to seriously take their Ford Bronco off-road. And if there is uneven terrain, if there is nasty uh, you know, terrain out there, they have the confidence that they can get through it without any trouble. So I'm excited about having Bronco bringing to the table a sway bar disconnect feature. Okay guys, what I want us to do uh, is check out a video together. This is gonna be a video that Ford put out on their social media platform. And there's a couple of things on that video that are hints of what this truck, what this Bronco, what this SUV is gonna look like in some parts, some details of the vehicle. So I want you to join me together and check this video out. It's, it's just gonna be great. So let's dive in and let's take a look together. There's still some wild out there. Those grayed out sections on maps that map makers haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> places where cell service and calendar reminders don't exist. So basically right there is telling you that, I mean, you guys can go anywhere, there's no cell service, and you can still go through any type of terrain. But you have to get out there and look for it. And to look for it. That's a classic Bronco right there. And bam, it turns into the new one that's coming. Look at that, that's awesome. Let's look at this together. Look at that headlight right there. Mm, mm, mm. Just absolutely gorgeous headlight. Uh, re reminiscent of the classic Bronco ride with the um, circular, circular headlights, but full LED and it says Bronco in between. We need something that can look at me. Now guys, look at this right here. Even though this is a little bit blurry, you can see right there the badging. That badging is pretty cool right there. The, the, the Bronco just galloping right there. Look at the fenders, you know, really pronounced, you know, really, you know, sticking out. Uh, tires, I mean, that probably could be a 35 inch tire, who knows? Man, so far, that looks good. Your LED in the back light, like that color too, Turn as well. Give it a firm handshake. Something built with the toughness of an F series and the spirit of a Mustang. Oh, yeah, Sometimes baby. Happy until it takes you through whatever creek or snow. Okay, now, are, are these maybe beatlock capable wheels? They look very similar to what a Raptor F-150 would have. And if you look closely right in the center cap of that wheel, you can see that Bronco logo again. I wonder if Ford will not have their Ford emblem or the word Ford anywhere on this uh, vehicle. I don't think they will. I think they'll have a, a Bronco, Bronco badge right in the wheel. And if you can tell right in that door, you also, I think, have a little Bronco badging right there as well. It looks like this has uh, a running board on it. This might be like maybe a, a, a rapid uh, fire red metallic color. Uh, man, so far, 
So far, so good. Color, that's that's silver right there. That looks pretty cool. That might be blue right there. That look right there is pretty sick, guys. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty sick. And that right there is a two-door, a two-door Bronco right there. So, man, so far, beautiful, you beautiful. Need a Bronco. You need a Bronco. <laughs> Absolutely. So check this guy, this out. We'll stop it right there because I want you guys to see You've got the three three Broncos right there. You've got your two door, your four door, and your Bronco Sport right at the end. If we look at the first picture of the Bronco two door one, if you look really closely, you can actually see the shifter, the manual transmission. You can have a look uh, with the removable doors right there. The removable top, the hard top, would be probably on the Bronco four door. That probably is the the uh, uh, the hard top right there. Your doors on the Jeep Wrangler have to, you have to have a tool, right? And if you have a Jeep Wrangler, you can confirm this. You have to have a special tool to be able to remove your doors. And you cannot really store them on the inside part of, the, of your Jeep, correct? You have to store them in your garage or whatnot. And what happens if you go out and then in the middle of the day, you've got weather that just strikes out of nowhere and you're stuck without your doors. Well, the really cool thing about Bronco is that Bronco, first of all, your doors, you don't have to have a special tool. You will have probably some type of latching system on the inside of the Bronco that will allow you to remove your doors. And guess what? These doors will be able to be stored in the Bronco itself. So it's gonna be an a, a awesome feature. And that right there is gonna be a feature that a lot of Jeep owners would wish that they would have and that's what we're hoping for we're hoping to attract you know jeep owners into bronco because this thing right there is bringing a lot to the table now another really cool thing about these doors is that when you have to remove them your mirrors on the jeep go with the doors right with bronco the mirrors were actually in the a pillar in the a pillar of the vehicle so if you remove your doors guess what you still have mirrors. Isn't that awesome? That's a phenomenal feature that is good engineering. Jeep has had their run. Jeep has been the number one selling off-roading vehicle ever, um, but it's time. It's time for somebody else to you know, take the crown. It's time for somebody else to provide technology over the air updates, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Ford Pass Connect that Ford doesn't charge you anything for. It is time to bring technology and combine it with a very off-road, heavy-duty, capable vehicle, and that is Bronco. And that is what Ford is bringing to the table, and that's what makes me super excited about this and super excited about selling the Ford Bronco. So any of you guys that are remotely interested in a Ford Bronco, this is the time. If you wanna take your family outdoors, you can do it with a, with a Ford Bronco. If you just want a little bit or a subtle, capable, uh, off-road capable vehicle, you got Bronco Sport. Sincerely appreciate the opportunity that you have given us to show you uh, a couple of features and things about the upcoming Ford Bronco. Well, there you have it, guys. This has been a, hopefully, an informative video regarding the upcoming and very exciting 2021 Ford Bronco. What do you guys think? As you know, the commentary section below is open, so make sure that you leave your comments. I do read and respond to every single one of them. And if you guys are interested, if you are in the market for the Ford Bronco, remember my deal at the dealership is no markup. I've been at the dealership for 20 years, and it would be my pleasure to help you out. And my deal is treat my customers with respect and transparency, and everything else will fall into place. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos. So don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Have a blessed day.